In this video we're going to look at the difference between the Lumia 800, 820 and 920 screens. Now the two on the left here are using AMOLED technology but there's another difference. This is a pentile display, this is RGB stripe, that's a different arrangement of subpixels. This is generally regarded as superior, it's less noticeable when you're actually looking at the detail of the screen. The 920 on the right here, that's an IPS LCD display. Now obviously there's a different physical size here but the 920 has a higher screen resolution. These are both standard Windows Phone 480 by 800 this is the HD plus display. Now you can see these two AMOLED displays have slightly more vibrant colors. Now that's more noticeable if we switch to the home screen. This is all the same color theme, it's the Nokia color or Cobalt. Particularly here on the 820 you can see the colors are a bit more vibrant. The 800 has probably faded a little bit because it is a year old and the 920 is also pretty good. Now the 920, as I said, has the higher resolution screen. You can actually see that in some of the details on the live tile, slightly less jagged edges, particularly if you're watching this video at a, a high resolution. But show you another example of that. If we pop into Internet Explorer here, loaded up the uh, BBC News website, or rather the BBC website, and you can see here example where the high resolution does have an impact. It's on screens when you're reading text and the fonts just have slightly sharper edges. It's particularly noticeable with lots of text, so reading an ebook or a text heavy web page, but I was actually surprised I didn't notice it as much as I thought I would, you know, stepping down from the 920 with the high resolution to the 820. Just want to show you one more example of the AMOLED effect. You can see here the brighter colours here on this uh, Bing wallpaper of the day. Which one you prefer? Well, as I say, it is a matter of choice and generally high resolution displays are better. But as I say, I didn't actually think the 820 suffered from having the lower resolution display as much as I thought it would. And one thing I did notice, it's considerably better than you're getting on the Lumia 800 and 900. So there you go, a quick look at the comparisons of the screens on these Lumia devices.